So this is a codicil. Um, I got to thinking about what, what methods we could use to unite the vital body will with the will of the divine and because that might be really important, coming up very important. And um, aside from the idea of simply being aware, the first thing to do is to be aware of the vital body's will, right? What it wants. <laughs> and, um, but we've already talked about that. And so then I got to thinking about traditional and non-traditional methods of uniting the, the vast creative force of the, of the vital body with the divine. And I came up with a few to consider, and no doubt you'll come up with others, but so here's my little short list. Um, bhakti yoga, as practiced in India, and to worship the divine as beloved. So if you're a man, you'd worship the divine as the beloved woman. And if you're a woman, you worship the divine as the beloved man. And along those lines, in the Christian tradition, uh, sometimes uh, celibate um, people, priests and nuns, will worship, not will focus on, in the case of men, focus on the Virgin Mary. And uh, that, that's the Magdalene uh, tradition, uh, what's it called, Marian tradition. And um, amongst nuns, lots of times they'll worship Christ as their, as their spouse. So that's a Christian way of um, approaching this, um, this union. Um, that so frequently, through bhakti yoga, that's so frequently used in India. And then also from India we have the, um, the worship of Shiva Lingam. And that's a way of, of, uh, of admiring, um, of respecting the vast creative power of the second chakra as, as divine. And I think it's a very good idea to, to find a stone or get a stone and put it on your altar or maybe a poster or something like that. And, and the, the idea is because the idea of sexuality has been so degraded in, in Western society. It's good to, to realize that, 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 that sexuality, uh, that chakra which holds sexuality in a social context also holds uh, vast creativity. And that one way to do it is to, to worship the Shiva Lingam. It's just a stone. You put it on your altar. It's great. And it's also respectful to the earth. Quartz is nice because it has those um, crystals in it. Well, I mean, they're all kinds. So those are two. And um, then you have white tantric yoga in the Indian tradition which is not sexual, but it does take advantage of the attraction between men and women. And through chanting sacred uh, chants, it raises it to the sacred level. And, um, let's see. I know there are more. <laughs> um, you have read Tantric, but I consider that to be a dangerous thing to do because the um, power of um, possessiveness right now of the second chakra is um, it's just too strong for most people and all kinds of negative emotions come into play like jealousy and anger and all kinds of things so some people go for that but I'm not I'm thinking it's a little not right now kind of thing or maybe not even never <laughs> and um, let me think. Yeah, here's the long new lines. Now, for a while we've been talking about walking in nature and chanting a sacred chant at the same time. That's a good example. Good exercise. The vital body loves it. The use of the chant brings in the divine. 
And that, that, that uh, precept could be used in, in any context where there's a vital body like that you can agree with mentally, you know, and you can bring in a sacred chant. Chanting is great because it uses the physical body and it expresses a divine, uh, a divine notion. So you could do um, you could do chanting with almost any physical activity. You could associate it with a with cooking. Um, you could think of eating as communion, uh, in the Christian tradition. Um, uh, a good thing to do before, right before, and right after sleeping is um, is a little prayer. And that divinizes sleep, something really necessary to the vital body. And so the notion is just listen to the vital body, do something you can agree with that the, both you and the vital body can agree upon, and bring in the divine somehow. It could be a visualization, it could be a chant. I'm trying to think of more things, but I can't, but I bet you will. Talk to you later.